Belgium has officially entered a new era in its defense modernization with the induction of the MQ-9B Sky Guardian unmanned aerial system, marking a decisive shift in the country's approach to surveillance, intelligence gathering, and future strike capabilities. The unveiling of the first aircraft at Florenz Air Base on September 23, 2025, was not just a ceremonial occasion but a statement of intent. For Belgium, a mid-sized European power with limited resources, the adoption of this advanced US-made platform represents a deliberate investment in high-value, force-multiplying technology that can amplify its strategic relevance within NATO and the European Union. The MQ-9B Sky Guardian, developed by General Atomics, is considered one of the most capable drones in the world, with long endurance, cutting-edge sensors, and the potential to carry precision-guided munitions. Its arrival in Belgium underscores a growing recognition that unmanned systems are no longer auxiliary assets but essential components of modern air power. The introduction of the Sky Guardian is tied to broader structural and organizational changes within the Belgian air component. Belgium is set to acquire a total of six MQ-9B aircraft by 2028, supported by purpose-built infrastructure at Florence Air Base. New hangars, training facilities, and control centers have been established to ensure seamless integration into daily operations. In preparation for this transition, the Belgian Air Force reactivated the historic 2nd Squadron of the 2nd Tactical Wing in 2023, a unit specifically tasked with operating and maintaining the new fleet. The scale of investment highlights not only the technological leap but also the institutional adaptation required to bring such a capability online. For a country that disbanded this squadron in 2001, its revival now symbolizes Belgium's shift toward advanced unmanned aerial operations as a core mission set rather than a peripheral experiment. From a technical standpoint, the MQ-9B Sky Guardian offers capabilities far beyond those of conventional manned aircraft. With a wingspan of 24 meters and the ability to stay aloft for over 40 hours, the platform provides persistent surveillance that few air forces can achieve with traditional assets. Operating at altitudes above 12,000 meters, it can monitor vast swathes of territory while remaining out of reach of most ground-based threats. Its compliance with civil aviation safety standards, including a detect and avoid system certified under NATO's STANAG 4671, allows it to fly in both civilian and military airspace without disrupting commercial traffic. This is a significant advantage in Europe's densely populated skies, where integration with civil aviation is essential. Combined with state-of-the-art electro-optical sensors, Lynx radar, and dual satellite communications, the drone ensures real-time situational awareness for both national defense and coalition operations. The strategic benefits of this capability are immediately apparent. Belgium has faced the challenge of limited resources when compared to larger NATO allies, and its armed forces have traditionally prioritized niche contributions over large-scale deployments. The MQ-9B changes this equation by giving Belgium a tool with both endurance and versatility. Whether it is monitoring maritime approaches in the North Sea, conducting intelligence missions in crisis regions like Africa, or supporting NATO's eastern flank, the Sky Guardian enables Belgium to project meaningful capability with a relatively small fleet. The drones will also support domestic missions, including the protection of critical infrastructure, disaster response, and surveillance of the exclusive economic zone. This dual role underscores how unmanned systems blur the traditional boundaries between military and civil applications, further justifying their investment in a period of financial constraints. Operationalization of the system is already underway. Belgian crews have begun training flights following the aircraft's arrival at Florence in late August 2025. Training has been phased, with initial cohorts sent to the United States and the United Kingdom, while future instruction will take place domestically as Belgium builds up its own cadre of instructors. Personnel include both experienced pilots and newly recruited specialists, 
reflecting the blend of aviation expertise and technical skills required to operate such a platform. By 2026, Belgium expects to achieve initial operational capability, enabling the drones to contribute to national surveillance and multinational missions alike. This phased approach to integration is deliberate, recognizing that the MQ-9B is not merely a piece of equipment but a system that reshapes doctrine, tactics, and organizational culture within the air component. One of the most debated aspects of Belgium's drone program is the prospect of arming the Sky Guardian fleet. For now, the aircraft are delivered with surveillance payloads, but discussions are underway with partners such as the United Kingdom to explore the integration of precision-guided munitions. If this option is realized, Belgium would gain a dual-capability asset able to conduct both intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance, ISR, and precision strike missions. Such a development would significantly enhance the country's standing within NATO, allowing it to contribute not only to situational awareness but also to direct combat operations when required. This potential evolution reflects a broader global trend where drones are increasingly shifting from passive observation platforms to active combat assets capable of altering battlefield dynamics. The geopolitical environment makes the timing of this acquisition particularly significant. Europe is facing a period of heightened instability, from the ongoing war in Ukraine to increased Russian naval activity in the North Sea and persistent insecurity in parts of Africa. NATO has repeatedly called on its members to increase capability contributions, particularly in areas like ISR where demand consistently outpaces supply. Belgium's decision to invest in the MQ-9B can thus be seen as both a response to alliance pressure and a recognition of national security imperatives. By fielding a fleet of drones with global reach, Belgium positions itself as a more credible partner within the alliance, ensuring that its limited resources deliver maximum impact through advanced technology. Beyond its immediate operational value, the integration of the MQ-9B reflects deeper changes in Belgium's defense strategy. For decades, the country has been criticized for underinvestment in defense, often contributing in symbolic rather than substantive ways to multinational missions. The adoption of a cutting-edge unmanned platform challenges that perception, signaling Belgium's willingness to modernize and adapt. The investment in infrastructure, training, and long-term sustainment illustrates that this is not a token acquisition but a comprehensive program designed to reshape the air component for the challenges of the 21st century. The structural reforms accompanying the Sky Guardian program, including the reactivation of dormant squadrons and the creation of specialized facilities, point to a lasting transformation rather than a short-term upgrade. As with any high-profile defense procurement, challenges remain. Sustaining such a sophisticated platform requires long-term financial commitment, and Belgium will need to ensure adequate funding not only for the aircraft themselves but also for the training, maintenance, and data analysis capabilities that make them effective. Political debates over the potential arming of the drones could also create friction domestically, as Belgian policymakers balance ethical considerations with operational realities. Moreover, Integrating these systems into NATO's broader command and control framework will require close coordination with allies, ensuring interoperability and avoiding redundancy. Yet these challenges are inherent to any modernization effort and underscore the seriousness with which Belgium is approaching this capability. In the final analysis, Belgium's induction of the MQ-9B Sky Guardian represents far more than the acquisition of a new aircraft. It is a strategic decision to embrace unmanned technology as a pillar of national defense, a structural reorganization of the air component to integrate advanced capabilities, and a signal to allies that Belgium is prepared to contribute meaningfully to collective security. The Sky Guardian's endurance, versatility, and potential strike capability make it an invaluable asset in today's unpredictable security environment. By 2028, when the full fleet of six drones is operational, Belgium will have transformed its intelligence and surveillance posture, 
moving from a country often seen as a minor player in NATO to one capable of delivering high-value contributions at both the national and alliance level. This development underscores the broader reality that in modern defense, the adoption of advanced unmanned systems is no longer optional but essential, and Belgium's decision to move in this direction places it firmly on the path of strategic relevance in the years ahead.